Now here, this, this is where it's at. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I got a few goodies here behind me. Now before we even dive into what those are, I just gotta let you guys know I did not, I repeat, I did not wanna make this video this soon i hate doing unboxing videos where i show you guys a part but i never actually get to install them on the car and show you what they can do i know what you guys are here for you guys are here for a performance you guys are here for results uh race content not for talking you guys want to know whether or not you should buy these parts and i promise you those videos are coming with these parts it's just in the meantime i haven't been able to upload and i've had friends i've had co-workers i've had uh, a few social media people like hey kev what's going on with the car you know, I haven't seen you on YouTube in a while, so I had to give you guys some kind of content to show you what I have in store for this car. So let's check it out. All right, so guys, as you can see, I have packages where I have beefed up the car, not only for the strip for drag racing, but also road racing whenever we go down to Mexico. So these tires right here are the 275s that you have seen in previous videos. I have actually done some damage on these 275s. They are some of the stickiest street tires that I have found outside of uh, like Mickey Thompson's. So if you haven't seen it, go check out my Continental video. These are the same tires, but as you can see, these are brand new and these are the same Continentals, but these are 305s. Let me show you how much bigger these 305s are. So this is a 275. This is a 305. So when I do put these on the car and that is coming soon, the only reason I haven't put these on is because I don't want to put them on stock tires. Oh, I'm sorry, those are my, um, strip tires i don't want to put them on my stock tires and have them bulging out like a lot of people do to me that's just ugly and it's pointless so those are coming soon those are going to be on the rims that i have and as for the drag strip now here this this is where it's at let me see if i can get these out it's kind of tough using one hand All right, so guys, these right here are my Mickey Thompson 305 50 75 Bias Ply ET Street R's. If you've ever seen those videos where the cars are launching so hard that the tire's just wrinkling and it's looked like it's about to be ripped off the rim, that's what this is here. Matter of fact, I'll show you a picture. So for you automatic guys, don't go out and get any Bias Plies. You guys, you, you're good on drag radios. I'll get into that more later, but for you manual guys, this is where you want to be. These things will absorb so much more shock than what drag radios will. Now, they still have the same sticky compound as a drag radio. Same setup, same tread life, everything. But they, like I said, they're bias ply tires, so they are a lot softer. Let me show you just how soft these things are. Look at this. Two fingers. That is soft, guys. It feels like, I mean, if I had to compare it to something, this is like the eraser on a brand new pencil. I just feel like my my nails can just dig into this rubber. These things are sticky, they are soft, and they're gonna hook. All right guys, so just a quick recap. So on these 305s here, the, the SS's, which are technically street tires, I ran a 12 flat with a 1760 foot. Um, not sure what these on the track, don't even care. These I'm hoping to be down in the 11s. These will, I, I wanna say um, bias flies will hurt you top end, but they will definitely help my 60 foot and getting me off the line. Speaking of getting off the line, let's see what we got over here. Move this out of the way. This actually just came in the mail not too long ago. As you can see, I have not opened these yet. All right, guys, so as for what we have here, these are true Mopar, as you can see, drag racing springs off of the 1320 challenger so for the guys that are curious uh what the deal is with these springs no they're not lowering springs these are just legit for drag racing um when these are on the car the rear of the car i'll drop a picture here for you the rear of the car will absolutely squat when i go to take off the front of the car will lift up just like you see on these Dodge Demons. That's what these springs right here are going to do for my car. Now, I don't have the power to lift the front wheels off the ground, obviously, but these things will help with 60 foot and get me off the lines. I don't think there is a single video on YouTube. I think I will be the first person on YouTube to ever 
do a video with the 1320 springs with a bias ply tire. So guys, hang in there. The content, it is on the way.